it's time to find out what's buzzing all over the internet. Ryan Broderick from BuzzFeed is here to talk about what people are posting and what they're watching. Uh, good morning. So we've got some uh, some real feel good and some profound stuff. Yeah, lots of inspirational, ooey gooey kinds of things for you this week. But this first one is someone who put together a video of tweets left by a woman dying of brain cancer. Yeah, th this story is a little odd, but it's, it's really nice. Uh, this woman, sh uh, Shannon, she had been passed a Twitter account that was very popular in the Ottawa Twitter community. Uh, it's like a local Twitter community, and, they and this woman, Amanda, she was like this goofy, fun-loving goth basically, who was diagnosed with brain cancer and she was given only a few months to live. And her Twitter account shows what those months look like. And people loved it and it was passed around all the time and Shannon loved it so she made a video out of it and built it as a montage of her last couple months. Uh, why do you think people are interested as an is, is, is it a way of informing people? Is well, I think it's partly that, and it's also that people are really fascinated by what your tweets look like in a grander sense. You know, it's like what you do when you're bored, but those things add up into something kind of beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful and, story. Yeah, you know? and it's, an, it's, a, it's a neat, it's powerful way to look at yeah, it. Yeah, to kind of appreciate life, right, for what it's worth. All right, next up, we're going to talk about a great story about love and a simple request to kind of pay it forward. I like these type of stories. Yeah, this is, this is cool. So um, a widower, also from Canada, uh, he was out eating, and he saw a younger couple, and he wrote them a, a note on a napkin saying, I'm going to pay for your dinner, and all I ask is that you pay it forward. Uh, he had recently lost his wife, and the note went massively viral. Everyone loved it, obviously. Um, and people were fighting about, is it real? Is it fake? Because these things happen all the time. And his son uh, jumped in the comments and said, no, this is real, and he proved all of it. And so, so pay it forward, really. Aww. It means when you get the money, so now you're supposed to do that for someone else. Right. And next time you buy the meal for someone else, that inspires you. Exactly. Or, okay. Those Canadians. Yeah, they're <laughs> polite. Aww. They're so well, now this, uh, this next one is a, how a little gesture can go a long way, too. Mm -hmm. So uh, a family was coming back from Disney World, and uh, their little daughter, Kate, ha she has autism. And they, because of the seating, they were afraid that she'd be sitting next to someone who wasn't really prepared for that sort of thing. They're, they're flying back. They're flying back, okay, yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, if you've ever dealt with an autistic child on mm -hmm. a plane, even a normal child on a plane, it's it's hard. So uh, this businessman sat down next to Kate, and he was perfect. He was uh, he played with her. They had a great time. And so uh, the mom wrote up, you know, thank you so much. And her her note went so viral, it's hard to even imagine. Like she, she posted thought. it on the internet. She posted and it on her website, and then reposted it on the Huffington Post. And so uh, we uh, we at BuzzFeed we called her up this week, and we chatted with her about it. And through the note going viral, the businessman did reach out to her, and Aww. they spoke, and they reconnected. So it was just a That's really hard good. Good. Too. More yeah. goosebumps this yeah. morning. Thanks. Lots of feel good. All right. Lastly, a guy who. Uh, found a great way to uh, uh, what use his Groupon discount? Yes, uh, this story is probably my favorite. Uh, a guy had a Groupon uh, for a photo shoot at JCPenney. Huh. So he okay. took his kitten at the time, Winslow, <laughs> and Winslow uh, is a great, great <laughs> addition. Uh, he said that everyone in line was super jealous of him because who wouldn't be Look at Winslow. <laughs> but as these photos started uh, picking up steam online, um, the owner started using the attention to raise money for Winslow. He was born with this genetic condition where his knees don't really work properly. So he um, asked for money. <coughs> he ended up doubling what he asked for. He asked for three thousand dollars for uh, surgery for Winslow, and he ended up raising six. Well, well you think Groupon, you think story. great, but you think fa you think awkward family photos yeah. when you think going to Penny's oh, to get totally. the picture taken. This was brilliant. Oh, it's so I good. Mean, I yeah. think yeah. animals were allowed though there at J.C. Penny. Uh -huh. No, well, good for him. <laughs> yeah, he found the loopholes. So. Yeah. Good. Thanks well, thank so you, and take care of your cold, for Pete's sake. I know. Yeah. We've had this cold for like John give weeks. That to you? No, I didn't. Was... I did not. He, okay. He got that online. Uh, <laughs> Ryan Broderick from viral. BuzzFeed, Video. thank you so much for coming and keeping us up to date on what's trending. Have a good weekend. Speaking of, it is Friday, so we're.